What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys another quick customization video for your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now I brought you guys a lot of videos on how to change the theme, the icon pack, the grid size and your quick settings and also enable the immersive mode. I'll link all the other videos below if you guys are interested. One of the things that have eluded me so far since I started my customization series are the nav bar icons at the very bottom here, which Samsung chose. I'm not a huge fan of these nav bar icons. I'd rather have the stock ones from the Pixel or for the Nexus devices back in the day. So far there hasn't been a way to do that, but today we do have a method from the guys over at XDA Developer Forms. It's actually very simple to do. You can see here on my silver Galaxy S8 Plus I do have the stock Nexus nav bar icons. You guys can sort of see the difference between the two right there. The way to do this is very simple. All you're going to do is download and install an APK. This is basically an overlay method. It's going to put a new set of buttons on top of the buttons at the very bottom, the stock Samsung buttons. There's a couple of options, the stock Nexus icons. You can also get the pixel icons. I'll link all the APKs below on my website. They'll also be clearly labeled. Shout out to the original post over there at XDA, Tiger Hoods, for putting this together. I highly appreciate it. Now you will need to make sure that you enable unknown sources in your settings. So just make sure you head into lock screen and security, scroll down to unknown sources. You're going to enable that. Go ahead and hit OK. That way you can install the APK. Once you install it, all you got to do is reboot your phone. So hold down the power button, press restart. Once it restarts, you should see your new nav bar icons at the bottom. Now one thing I will mention is I did notice a little bit of lag, a little bit of jank when I first started it up. Just open a couple of apps and play around with it and then you should be good to go. The new nav bar icon should be all set. One thing you'll also notice is when you actually press the home button, you'll see the stock Samsung home button. You guys can see that there every time I press my Pixel or my Nexus home button, it shows the stock Samsung home button for just a second. That's just because you've got that overlay down there. It doesn't bother me too much but again it is a byproduct of the fact that they're implementing this via an overlay. Also, if you have the always on display, you're going to see the stock Samsung home button. You cannot get the overlay button to appear on the always on display right now. That also means that you don't have to worry about burn in because remember Samsung moves the pixels around the home button here so you don't get burn in when you have the always on display. So that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, and again, if you want to get rid of this, if you want to uninstall it, it's very easy to do that. All you got to do, go into settings, go into apps. You'll find the app down your app list right here. The app is right here, com.android.systemui.product and just go ahead and hit uninstall and then that'll get rid of it and you can go back to your stock Samsung OEM icons for the S8 or S8 Plus. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video on how to get the Pixel or Nexus or whatever kind of custom icons you want on your nav bar below on the Galaxy S8. Please hit like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content so I can make future videos like this. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Find me at dopetechdaily.com. Google Plus, Instagram, and Twitter, the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.